Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this amazing course on MS Excel. This may not come in your Excel sheet. I'll teach you how all these things has to be done. At least if you're using a 2016 version, anything above that, that is well and good. Okay, great. Now, when you open up, you get one thing here, which is called a sheet one. So this is your sheet number one. Just in case if I want to add a lot of sheets, I can click on this plus symbol. So you can see it here plus. So in this way, different sheets will be added like sheet number three, sheet number two and sheet number one. Got it? So now we'll get into the main thing, like what are the different buttons we have? I will try to understand that. So let me start like this. Okay. Yeah. So this portion, what you can see is right. The file home insert page layout. So this is called as a ribbon. Okay. And the one what I have it here, like I've written Excel course sheet. So that is called as my title bar. Uh, in the older uh, Excel, it was coming at the center, but right now it has gone to the left side. Okay. Fine. Other than that, this is called as my column header. So if I keep it here, like you can see A, B, C, D, you can see even T, U, and all these are my column because this is my vertical element. Okay. So all these are my vertical elements. So I call that as a column in the same way we have horizontal, like you can see here 112, of course, from in your sheet, it will be starting from zero one, like one, two, three, four, all these are my rows. What I, what you can see here. Okay. Yeah. So this is called as my row indicators. Okay. These are different row, like 122, 123, 24, and so on. Other than that, this is a status bar. What I have, you can see this particular thing here. So it's a status bar. What I have. And then this is a worksheet, the main page, like this is the main page, what I have. So this entire thing is called as worksheet. So whenever I teach you the other commands in the later part of the lecture, we'll be doing everything like this. For example, see, I've written an institute name here. These are the name of a student and their roll number, and this is their marks. So all these things we'll be doing as a kind of example. So this is a worksheet where I'll be teaching you all the stuff. Okay. Fine. So after that, the uh, the column is done, uh, then the row indicators is done. Then we have another few buttons here. So you can see this button is intent. So these are my view buttons. This is a normal view what I see. Then if I click on this, what will happen is it will be divided in this way. Okay. So anyhow, uh, we'll not be doing in this way. And the last one we have is this one. Uh, whenever you go for the printout and all, you just have to tell how many pages printout you require and all. So those three options, you can see it here. But again, if you want to go to the back to the normal, you just come here. You can see the first option, which is called as normal. You can see this is page break preview. Like you can see the pay break here, like page number one. Then this is page number two. Then we have page number three and so on. But anyhow, right now we are not doing any printing work and all. So I'll go to the normal. So click on this button called as normal. So it will take you to the normal option now. Okay. So it has come back to the normal. And then this is a zoom slider. This thing, what you can see, it is called a zoom slider. Right now, I, I'll show you with a different, uh, this thing, worksheet. Yeah. For example, you see everything is clearly visible. Now, if I want to increase the size of this, you can see a plus button. I click on this. So you can see here, right? All the size has increased. Again, if I try to do here, see, this is how it's coming. So this entire worksheet is filled with this. It has got zoom. So everything you can see it here. Suppose if I want to minimize right now, I've done 310%. Now, if I want to minimize, you can make use of this slider and you can try to minimize. So you can minimize up to here. See here how it's looking now. If you don't want to keep this, then I can come here. You just increase the size from there. Okay. So you can come somewhere here, maybe somewhere 50, yeah, 150% or somewhere here. Now it looks good. So with the help of this uh, zoom slider, you can try to zoom in or zoom out. You can try to increase the size of this. Great. So this much things you have to understand initially. Other than that, we'll try to see a few other commands here. Uh, yeah. So if I come back here, most of the things I've explained you. Next, we'll go for the other things. Like I explained to you that all these other tabs, what I have, like we have this file tab, we have home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, developer and all. Again, if you click here in the home page, then you get a different options here. Okay. Again, if I click on insert again, I get different options here. Now again, here we have different groups. Like this is one group. Suppose if I show it here in the home page. Yeah. 
so you see here this is written clipboard so this is one group so under the clipboard we have all these options similarly this is a font option this is another group under this we have all these icons in the same way we come to the alignment option under this we have all this alignment okay the same thing whatever is here i'm just trying to make you understand you can see it here so these are the different commands what we have whatever is shown here these are the different commands which we are going to use it later part and all these are the group like clipboard font alignment then we have this number we have the style cells editing and so on okay and then this is the main ribbon if i try to delete everything this is called as a main ribbon so it is shown here so this entire thing what you can see right this thing this entire thing what you can see here so this whatever you can see inside it is called as ribbon so it is written here it's ribbon so most of the things i've explained like what is group what is ribbon uh, then uh, commands i've explained then the tab part is covered so most of the things i've covered then this is called as your working sheet now along with that we'll go with the, some other things like i'll go with the okay Suppose if I want to add few more sheets, like I told you, this is sheet number three. Again, I'll click on this. This will be sheet number four. If I click on that again, it will be sheet number five. Okay. Again, whenever you try to write something, so this is, these are called as cells. These are called as, you can see one which has been selected here. So this is a cell. So if I click here and if I write something, what will happen? It will come inside this cell. Suppose let us say I want to write something here. So I'll keep my mouse here. I'll just double click here. So this cursor will start to blink. And just write whatever you want. I'll write like, okay, I'll write MS Excel here, MS Excel. And then you press enter button. It will come out in this way. Got it? So this one, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All these are my rows. In the same way, one, two, three, four, all these are my rows. All these are my columns. These are vertical are called as columns. The horizontal ones are called as row. Got it? So these were the things which I wanted to tell in this particular lecture. So I hope at least a basic understanding you have, like how this uh, MS Excel is going to work, uh, how we need to understand all these uh, different toolbars and all, and all these other cells what we have. This is cell, all these other different cells what I have. Yeah. Another few things, let me add it here. So I think I'll go with a different, uh, yeah. Now you see here, up to here, 19 number is shown. I want to see again, like I want to see what is 20, 21 and all. In that case, you have two options. You can see this is called as vertical scroller. Okay. This is called as vertical scroll scroller or even it is written here vertical scroll bar. You can call it any any name. So just come here and you drag it in this way. What will happen? You are able to see all the roll numbers, the student's name and all. Got it. Similarly, if I want to go to the number one student, serial number one, right now it's not visible. You come here, click on this vertical scroll bar, take it to the top. Again, you can try to see here. Okay, this is serial number one. In the same way, right now I'm going vertical suppose if i want to go horizontally so this is my horizontal scroll bar you can see it here so this is my horizontal scroll bar if i keep it here in a normal uh, window up to t i am able to see it st if i want to go with uv and all it's not visible so i can come here you just scroll it so you can see uv is visible now beyond you i'm not able to see anything so in that case what i'm supposed to do i need to minimize this so if i try to minimize then i'll be able to see everything see here up to you, we were able to see. Now you can see W and W. Again, if I try to minimize this, you can see X, Y, Z. Again, if I try to minimize this, then it will start from like double A, A, B, A, C, and so all these are the infinite number of rows and cells we have. There is no end to all these things. Okay, there is no end to these rows and uh, rows and the windows. I mean the rows and the columns. You can keep on adding. Okay, it will pop up. So there is no. It is infinite number of rows and columns. What we have. Got it. So these were the things which we wanted to understand in the first lecture. So in the next lecture, we'll try to understand what is this home command? What are the different commands like cut, copy, format? Uh, what do you mean by this B, I, italic, then under underline option? What is this wrap text? Then we'll try to see about the insert option, how you can uh, make use of this insert options and all. So finally, what we are going to do is we'll be able to create a sheet, something like this where I'll be teaching you how to create a sheets like this, how to apply the formulas, how to do the material estimate and all. So in the future lectures, we'll try to work on all these things. And then we'll try to understand all the shortcut commands that we have in MS Excel. So I've written all the shortcut commands. In the next lecture, we'll try to see how can I add an additional row, additional column, how can I delete a column, how can I insert the names, the numbers and all. So try to practice up to here. Try to go through the stuff, what I've explained you. 
try to just you know click on certain uh, uh, tools and try to just see what is going to happen here and here you know, we'll be covering all these things in the further lectures so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you